Well, every once in a while we give you a chance to get an update regarding Third Lagoon Hills Mutual and their March replay will be Wednesday at 6 o'clock. And joining us now is the Vice President of Third Lagoon Hills Mutual, Juan Chang. Thanks for joining us today on the program. Thank you. This is uh, new to you. You've kind of been on the board a couple of, maybe a year or two now? Uh, oh, yeah, I was elected last October. Whoa. It's not quite six months yet. <laughs> <laughs> so compared to some of the people on the board, you're, you're pretty new, right? But, uh, I'm a new kid on the block. Uh -huh. What is your background? I was uh, the journalism professor at the University of Missouri for 33 years oh. before my retirement. Oh. Yeah, so basically, I was a teacher, right. but in newspaper and the television. Right, very good. Yeah. So you, did you uh, get a chance to watch the basketball tournament then? Missouri, I know, uh, unfortunately won, knocked out uh, early. the championship on the, the conference, right. but they got beat bad. Yeah, and, uh, that was a shame because they were ranked uh, pretty high to go to the finals. Oh, yeah. That's well, let's get to the business here in Laguna Woods. Uh, your board has now selected new legal counsel that right. you want to share. Right. So we have, uh, after careful review for almost two months, mm -hmm. uh, we picked the firm uh, which we thought was the best, which was uh, Richardson Harmon Ober, the firm. Uh, so the, I guess they are already uh, in a position of transferring the, from the earlier, uh -huh. uh, the, uh, the last year, the law firm we had. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're, we're very excited. One of the, the, the thing I liked about this law firm is uh, they have a more communication policy, which will be uh, basically that all the board members will know what's going mm -hmm. on. Compared to last year, the board member did not know. Right. So that's so that's uh, I'm looking forward to because I think it's the all legal issues matter for the mutual mm -hmm. that uh, more people know about it, except there are exceptions of yeah, course, of course. The contract issue. But that, I right. think that we like we like it. And that's the big buzzword for the last five to ten years is transparency. That's and, what it is. And you at least wanted some transparency between your legal counsel and your board. <laughs> I am a former journalist, so I like to make it everything open. It seems like a reasonable request. Are they right. located uh, locally then? Hmm? Are they located locally? They, uh, the pretty large firm, okay. I think the headquarters is in Pasadena. I but see. they have uh, the branch in Irvine somewhere. So okay. Uh, but nowadays, uh, the distance is not a big issue because you, the electronically right. and the, the cellular phone. So, we're excited. It's easy to communicate with them. Now, the second item you wanted to talk about was non-emergency services that uh, your members are uh, made available to. It is a very, <coughs> excuse me, very, very emotional issue mm -hmm. because uh, before I was elected, uh, Third Mutual voted to close down non-emergency chargeable service as of 1st of January this year. Uh, but we, the delayed, we postponed it to mm -hmm. the 1st of July. So we had six months period to make an adjustment. Mm -hmm. Then we had a very strong emotional uh, response from the residents. So mm -hmm. we decided to review carefully. And we've been doing this for a couple of months. As a matter of fact, today, two o'clock in the afternoon, we will have an open meeting uh, about the proposal, what we're going to do starting July 1st. Right. So I think it, it's a very exciting kind of uh, the program or policy uh, which will make it more effective, will make also workable. Right. Instead of having trouble with the last year before this uh, the issue, we're having a lot of complaints. We're mm -hmm. having a lot of trouble of collecting the money. Mm -hmm. And uh, it takes a lot of time of the management to participate in that. Way. Right. Yeah. Do you have a, a category or a form that is a description of non emergency medical services? So right. give us an I example <laughs> of something like that. I do have a pretty extensive list. I guess. Uh, uh, I cannot go too much in detail because mm -hmm. uh, they, I guess it will be open at 2 o'clock today. Right. But uh, yeah, one of the, the kind of the option we had was we used to charge $10 for the service. I think there is a discussion of going from 
a ten to forty dollar range for, and but uh, with a different kind of service, mm -hmm. I think it uh, we are heavily in favor of going after about twenty five. Somewhere in the middle. Service. Yeah, somewhere yeah. in the middle. Ah, but uh, it's, it's not decided. Mm -hmm. We'll see it at 2 o'clock today. Right. In terms of uh, the uh, detail, which will be uh, listed out with uh, carpentry, of course, mm -hmm. uh, the electrical and the plumbing issue, and uh, also there is uh, <coughs> paving and the welding issue. Those are the certain category. It will be much more clear to the residents what they expect, and what right. they pay for. Very good. All right. So very important meeting this afternoon. If you're watching Absolutely. our live program or our lunchtime program, uh -huh. be sure and attend this meeting. This is going to be at 2 o'clock, and two that's going to be in the, the boardroom, in yeah. the boardroom right here in your community center. So um, be sure and attend that, especially if you're very interested in these non-emergency services. You're also putting together a, a wonderful survey for people to participate in. This is called the Village Life Study that you're putting together. It's going to uh, gather, I think, some very important information regarding our community. Yeah. Uh, the, I, the, my, uh, the career as a teacher was actually the research director. I used to do this uh, to make money to pay for my graduate right. system. Mm -hmm. So the, I'm very familiar with this type of survey. Uh, the, I started the last year and uh, finding out actually uh, that our village had a study in 2001 mm -hmm. by historical society with and the help of the UC Irvine. Right. Uh, but my study is going to be much, much more extensive, particularly I put some of the media behavior, which mm -hmm. probably TV6 might use at some, mm -hmm. some point. Uh, so the also actually 2008, Los Angeles County the, the study of the senior survey was uh, pretty impressive. They, they spent a lot of money for that. So I'm combining all those to make it something we can see what our residents like, what, what mm -hmm. the residents uh, look like, what they feel about, what, or some of the, the ideas for we can implement in our policy and the, the, the budget decision. Right, very good. What kind of response rate are you looking for? The, I was surprised that 2001 study, they had 80% response. Mm -hmm. uh, the normally, if I do on the, the mail survey, I usually get 20 to 30%, right. Right. somewhere in there, no, no, not more than 30%. Yeah. So I'm expecting probably about 70% response. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to send out 2,500 you mailed out, the US Postal Service mailed out questionnaire expecting to about 1,500 mm -hmm. response. And the most important thing too is how do they get that response back? They're not having to pay for the postage. They can probably drop it off here in the community center, well, something like uh, that. The detail hasn't worked out actually. Next, uh, the GRF uh, media mm -hmm. and the communication committee, I propose to have this one as a discussion item, mm -hmm. so they will, I will talk about it in detail here. Um, the, with the blessing of the committee, I'd like to have uh, about $3,000 of the printing and the postage stamp, mm -hmm. that, but no cost of uh, data analysis or data mm -hmm. input, which mm -hmm. it would be quite sizable amount. I usually get, uh, get paid for this service. I'm, I'm offering Real charge. Yeah, and, and of course, a valuable service to this community, uh, especially to uh, understand the changing kind of lifestyle that the community is seeing. Absolutely. I mean, if they would have done this, uh, say, 20 years ago, when who would have known that fitness and computers would have been so popular, or even table tennis, and now these are pretty popular items in our community, and they've kind of have made things kind of Absolutely. work out. But a survey like this should have, would have been helpful in, at that in time. In terms of what would be our kind of terminology, demographics, mm -hmm. uh, the, it's a the drastic change right. in our community. Um, in terms of psychographic the, the change, the people's attitude have changed. And we will try to live like a 20th century, 19th century, the value or the, mm -hmm. the standard. I think we have to find out, we have to move on to yeah. next stage. That's what I feel yeah. like. Adapt and change every day. Very good to see you today. Thank a you. very important meeting at 2 o'clock again this right. afternoon. So be sure and be a part of the non-emergency meeting that they'll be discussing for Luke, Third Lagoon Hills Mutual. 
Third Laguna Hills Mutual meets on the second Tuesday of each month, and that's live here on Channel 6, and they're, of course, welcoming you to be here in the boardroom, and that meeting usually runs until about lunchtime. Thanks so much for joining oh, us on the program thank you. today. We'll be back with more of the Channel 6 News Hour right after this. Uh.